Today we are showing you how to make low carb strawberry shortcake in your crock pot all while having a whole lot of fun. Here you go guys. Nice and yummy. One of my favorite desserts. Mmm. Recipes at crock.com and today we are showing you how to make low carb strawberry shortcake in your crock pot. It's super simple and super delicious. I serve this all the time. I serve it for folks who are eating low carb and folks who are not eating low carb and they still love it. So um, I thought I would show you guys how to make it. We have an air fryer version of this but uh, I'll be honest after making this in my crock pot I've made it in the oven, I've made it in the crock pot, I've made it in the air fryer. I think the crock pot is now my for sure go-to way to make this. I just love how moist it keeps the, sh the, um, the shortcake um, for you to put your yummy strawberries on. So that's just a total side note. But So I'm excited to show that, share this with you guys today. Our base that we are using for this is Carb Quick, which is a low carb version of a quick biscuit making, like Bisquick mixture. So if you're not low carb, uh, you can uh, use Bisquick and follow along with the same um, type of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm out of practice clearly. You can follow along with uh, the same type of ingredients and just substitute the things that you have. But this is what we are using for us low carbers here. Octavius is being really high maintenance today. Yes, yes you are. Okay, so before we get started with the actual shortcake that's going to cook up in our slow cooker, I want to talk to you a little bit about the strawberries. Um, in order to make the strawberries nice and syrupy so that they will uh, have that typical sh uh, strawberry shortcake texture to them, if you can make them a day ahead of time, that is preferable. You don't have to, and a lot of times I don't. Um, the more time you can give them to release their juices, um, the better. I made this a couple days ago. And you can see they've released tons of juices. So all you're going to do with this is you're going to chop up your pint of strawberries. This is two pints because I was making double batches for all the family before we traveled home. Um, and you're going to just chop them up into bite-sized pieces uh, and add a half a cup of a sugar replacement for confectioner sugar, like a powder sugar substitute and you just sprinkle that over there. Now, I will tell you, if your strawberries are already super sweet, you don't have to add that much, or if they're not very sweet, you could add a little bit more. But once you get that all mixed in there and cut up, you wanna mix them up real good. And a lot of times it'll have like a white-like color to it initially, but after time, it'll turn that nice syrupy color that we're looking for. I was going to also show you the tool, but I don't know where it is. Of um, I like to use our mix and chop tool to just kind of smush them up. If you don't have a chopping tool like that, you could just smash some of them with a fork as you're kind of stirring them up to kind of start to get those juices to release. And once they start, just put um, a, lid, a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator either for a few hours or even better a day or two and you will get nice strawberry topping made so we kind of want to make that ahead of time if at all possible we eat it both ways sometimes I'm literally cutting up the strawberries right before we eat the shortcake because we're all hungry um, so that's that's just something to keep in mind but now to the shortcake and the crock pot part of all of this we're going to start with two cups of carb quick we've got it right here and we're going to add just a little pinch of salt um you can add as much or as little as you want you don't technically have to i just think a lot of my recipes with carb quick when i add a little pinch of salt it does a whole lot with it but we got that and to that, we are going to take a fourth of a cup of cubed butter, and we're just going to work through 
this we're going to kind of mix uh, mix it as well as possible you can also do this with your mix and chop to chop it in there or you can use a butter cutter or you could technically use forks or you could use your god-given hands which is what i tend to do and just you're just working this butter into it as much as possible so you don't have big chunks of butter in there and you're just going to keep working it in there until it's completely worked in and once we've got that done then we're going to add a half a cup of our confectioner's sugar into it before adding our water and then that's it um, the other thing that we've got going on in the slow cooker is we have two tablespoons of but melted butter that are gonna, is gonna coat the inside and the bottom of our slow cooker. If you have a Ninja or a browning slow cooker, you can brown it or you can melt it in the pot. Um, if you have a regular slow cooker, you can pop it in the microwave. Um, I'm still working this here. Another question that I know I'm going to get because I get it all the time is y'all with the casserole crocks going to ask me if you can make this in the casserole crock. And my answer is yes, you technically can make it in the casserole crock, but your product, your, your cake afterwards is going to be a lot flatter and not as fluffy as if you were to use either a Ninja or a traditional ceramic slow cooker because that center has a really hard time rising so that's up to you if you want to do it that way because you like to make those nice big slices that's completely up to you it's just not going to be as fluffy as what you would get out of a traditional or a ninja slow cooker okay so i've got this mixed in and now i'm going to add my half a cup of confectioner's uh, sugar substitute just gonna stir it up nice like this Let me wash my hands for just a sec. Okay, now we're gonna grab a fork so we can stir in two thirds cup water. And it's gonna make a nice dough. Now, much like our coffee cake, it's going to um, take a little bit of work to press it into our slow cooker to get it flat. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it will be nice and yummy. So, okay, let's make sure our butter is nice and spread out in the bottom of our pan. Come on. Octavius wants to be the star of the show today. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna dump our uh, dump our uh, shortcake mixture in there. It's it's the consistency of biscuit dough. It really is like a sweetened version of our low carb biscuits. That's all it is. So, and now we're just gonna press it and spread it out carefully, especially if you heated up your Ninja. You don't want to get burned. We're gonna try not to, since Mikey's not here. That's his job on the show. <laughs> um, all righty, it's all nice and in there. Okay, so now we're gonna cook it on high. And this is where people sometimes get confused because uh, we're gonna cook it on the slow cook feature on high, and I'm gonna cook mine for about an hour. A lot of times mine is done at 45 minutes. But I'm gonna put it on for an hour and watch it. We're looking for the center to set. Now, if you're using a traditional slow cooker or another kind of slow cooker, it could take two to three hours. We have a lot of different slow cookers around here and they all cook differently. And when you are doing baked goods in your slow cooker, they even range way different in cooking times more than even like a soup or something like that. So we will be back here in just a few minutes and I will show you how yummy this strawberry shortcake is in three, two, one. And welcome back. It has been 45 minutes in my Ninja and my cake has cooked up, my shortcake has cooked up the way it normally does. 
Typically, I'd like for you to let this cool for at least 15 minutes. I personally like the shortcake better when it's actually cold or room temperature, but you can have it however you want. Usually when I'm making it though, it doesn't get to really cool all that much. So it's one of those do as I say, not as I do situations like usual on here. If you do take it out early like I just did, it will uh, fall apart a little bit more, which is all right. I like my shortcake nice and crumbly. I oftentimes like to break it up with a fork anyways so those juices get down in my shortcake. I like to uh, break my shortcake up anyways to let those juices get nice and down in there. That's up to you. Um, and then just take some of your strawberries. I like the strawberries, of course, but the juices themselves are really part of this uh, shortcake experiment or experience, not experiment. That's what I particularly like. And then we get a sugar-free whipped cream. This is the uh, Great Value brand at um, Walmart, and it works out just great. Put a little bit on top. I'll come see you. Here you go, guys. Nice and yummy. One of my favorite desserts. Mmm. I love that sweetened flavor of that shortcake that um, confectioner sugar substitute in there does such an incredible job of just kind of sweetening it and making it feel like strawberry shortcake. Absolutely love it. This is one of my favorites. And I really love how moist the cake is out of the slow cooker. So that's definitely something that I would uh, suggest you try if you have it. If you uh, like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the slow, uh, our slow cooking family around here, the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below. Become a member of our slow cooking family. Um, if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the dingling. That is a notification bell down below, and YouTube will let you know every time we upload a video, no matter where we are and what we're doing. <laughs> but whatever you do, we help you. Laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Ooh. First, is explain a little bit about. Uh, okay. okay. You guys will be okay. starting over. I'm saying hi to the camera. There's Ali. Hi, Ali. Okay. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.